And back to Mike Root. These officials are assigned by the Congress by the South Carolina High School Activity Session Association and have been mutually agreed upon by the competing school. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you would please rise, face the flag on the southeast corner of the field, and place your right hand over your heart. All, activity, all active and non-activity uniformed military personnel may salute the flag as the Redfield High School Band, under the direction of Mr. Terrence Kenny, plays our national anthem. We'll find one. still run commercial run it just like a regular broadcast yep. mm -hmm. are we live right now or we are all right welcome ladies and gentlemen to northeast conference football we're going to be on tape delay as there's no internet here at the field and uh, neither our hotspot nor our cell phone can get enough signal to broadcast we can make phone calls but we cannot broadcast a shout out to redfield for giving us some space up in their booth we got uh, Bob Tiff on the PA, Osborne on the clock. I'm gonna be answering texts to let everybody know. Well, you're just going to hear it. It's a tape delay, no internet at the field that's good enough to send out a broadcast signal. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go help them plug that in. So you got the broadcast. Thank 
Jones will take it over first and ten on about the 37 yard line. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to help the team plug in their headset. Anyway, long game for the Pheasants. And I got an able assistant right beside me that's going to help me out. What are your two names? Jacob. Hunter. They're some of Redfield's finest, so they're going to help me throughout the night broadcast. Seven hands off the 20, hard right, speed speed sweep. Bearcat shut it down, get a little penetration. Tackle by Torrance. He had a ball run on the play. Brings up second down, 36. 20's Brayton Robbins, uh, state champion wrestler for the Pheasants. If Richie was here, he'd know a lot more about him, but. He's not seven back in the in the pistol. That's Easton Millar. Hand off up the middle to Robbins, running hard, keeps his feet going. Aldrich brings him down with the help of Case. Brings up a first and ten. Redfield a about their own, about Webster's 30 yard line, we're early in the first. Mar in the pistol again. Whitley with a sweep around the right side, gonna be a big game. About maybe a game of six. Absolutely beautiful night for football. No, the wind has died down. It's just cool enough for the players to be comfortable. Fans are whining a little bit, but. I saw you. Motion right for the Pheasants. Moore back to pass, rolling right. I didn't see who made the grab, I'll get you a number, but a circus catch. First and ten for the Pheasants. Nice circus grab. Millar back in the pistol. Fumbled snap. Falls on the ground. Bearcats fall on it. Bearcats first and 10, about their own 26 yard line. Case falls on it. So a nice opening drive for the Pheasants just falls short of the red zone with a fumble. Now we'll see what the Bearcats have on offense. Keller back in the pistol. He keeps it going around the right side. Split left and one split, split right. Pair boom in the shotgun. Throws it deep. Uh, Keller into double coverage. Uh, incomplete. 
kind of in and out. Nine minutes left in the first. Brings up third and about 11 for the Bearcats. Tough pass, dropping it in between two receivers. Not a bad job. Third and long for the Bearcats. And Paraboom back to pass, looks right. Finds Keller open on the left. Keller stutter steps, he'll be a couple yards short. Then bring up fourth and about two. Snap is good. Rusher's coming hard. Nice punt. End over end. Going to the far side. A little Bearcat bounce. And smartly picked up by Torrance. Don't well, just touch it. Pick it up. From the 39 yard line. Chase is on the broadcast. And off Whitley, Whitley comes right, cuts up hard, gains about four and a half. Eight minutes left on the clock. Maybe five, I'm gonna say game five. Do we have the clock on the board, Chase? I do, yeah. Okay. Redfield with a nice opening drive, but uh, unable to capture as they uh, had a fumble. Lauer back to pass. Bearcats with a little bit of pressure. Mount covers, but the pass is complete. Right down by. Is that 22 or 24? Dylan Whitley is who the public address said. The number looked like 24. Which would be dumb. First down, Maybe first and 10 out of the 37 yard line. Pheasants first and 10 at the Bearcat 37 yard line. Millar in the pistol. Tackled by a host of Bearcats. Looks like Mount leading that charge. Quickly around the right side. He cuts up nice. Good hard cut. Back in the pistol. Pass is complete. Millar's pass complete. To Juarez. Yeah, over to Juarez on the left side. That'll be a Pheasant. Back away, Opitz. First down, Pheasant. Opitz in an attack on the first attempt. Keller helped him out. It is nice to look over the Bearcat sideline and see a few more kids. When we were playing in Groton two weeks ago, you'd look over and there was eight or nine kids on the sidelines. Back to their full strength right now. Motion from the Pheasants. Back to pass. Kind of looked like he slipped. Bearcat's able to put a little pressure on him. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Whitley to bring up 
second and ten for the Fed. Second and ten for the Fed. Still on the 25-yard line. Bearcats need to stop. Lamar back to pass. Across the middle, nice running catch. Nice stick there by 50. I think that's the Snaza, but yeah, Brent Snaza. That's complete to Keith Ross. Tackle by Hunt. We have a penalty on the play. Holding against the Pheasants. Holding Pheasants. They will move that back 10 yards. Uh, the they'll foul. back them up about Replay nine yards foul. from the line of scrimmage because it's 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Oh no, they're coming back. It'll be second. Sure, yeah. And second about 22. 22 yards. Pheasants. Now back to pass. He's got time. Sets. Intercepted by the Bearcats. Who settled under that? Well, it was Bear Boom. by number eight, Jacob Perboom. And the Bearcats will take it over. First and ten on the 30 yard line. Redfield putting some yardage in the statistics, but unable to score so far. <laughs> Twins both sides. Motion right. Hand off to Mount. Short gain, if any. Five. Okay. No game. Second, half. Second and ten for the Bearcats. Perboom <laughs> back to pass. He's got a little time. Scrambles. Steps up in the pocket. Set third and ten for the Bearcats. It's covered by Mason Whitley. Third and ten for the Bearcats from the 30 yard line. Trips right for the Bearcats. Paraboom and shotgun. Kind of a little front handoff there, immediately smothered by the Pheasants. Probably going to be a loss on that play. Brings up fourth and 12. Big Cat's probably in punt formation. Brady five, and the tackle brings up fourth, and about 11 for the Bearcats. Uh -oh. And safety the call. And Woodring back to cover the uh, bad snap. Nice snap, don't see him able to come up with it. I think it probably went out the back of the end zone. Oh, the to go the first Safety two, to call, so it a free kick from the 20 for the Bearcats. We'll be back. 
an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievement. Farmer January is a great time to take a look at a brand new beer from Dave Haler Automotive in Webster. We've got 0% interest for up to 72 months on the 2019 Buick Enclave, Buick Envision, and the Buick Encore. We've got a great selection of these vehicles, so come take a look. Also, if you have a GM card, check your statement for extra earnings this month. Dave Haler Automotive, East Highway 12 in Webster, on the web, HalerAuto.com. The Galley Hotel Bar and Grill is on Highway 12 in Webster. And we're back. All right, we're back. 253 remaining in the first. Results of the last play, a safety against the Bearcats, so the Pheasants take a 2-0 lead. Bearcats will free kick from the 20. It is a live ball if the Bearcats can recover it. Beyond 10 yards, it would be their ball. It used to be, it used to have to be a punt, but a few years ago they switched it to allow them to kick off. Kind of a stubbler. Picked up by Robbins. Finds a hole, runs through a couple Bearcats. Redfield will start for most of the Bearcat 35 yard line. By Torrance, as it's at first and 10 on the 30 yard line. Right about the Bearcat 30 yard line. Snap to Millar, he looks deep. A lot of time, picked off by the Bearcats. That's number five, Ethan Olbeck. And I think we're gonna have a penalty on the return on that one. We do have a flag on the play. Block in the back. We have a block in the back against the Bearcats after the interception. That'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. But Bearcats able to come up with an interception and stop Red, Redfield's penetration. They the ball well, the just the can't the get Bearcats into the red zone. First and 10 on the 25-yard line. See if the Bearcats can put a drive together here. Pair boom in the pistol. Trips right. Lone setback. Oh, if he came down with that, that was a great catch. Pass is complete to Herman. Beerman with a nice, took a nice shot, brought it down while he was being hit. Nice catch by Beerman. That's a gain of about two yards. Brings up second and eight. Bearcats again with trips right. Mount split left, lone setback. Pair boom in the pistol. Ball's gone. That pass is incomplete. Headed for Miller Woodell. Caleb Wood Miller Woodell. Coverage by the defensive secondary for the Peasants. Brings up third and eight for the Bearcats. Third and eight for the Bearcats. What are you showing me? No, it's not. We, we, we can't get the signal out. Pair boom in the pistol. Little flip pass over here. A little running room. That's Colby Aldrich. Picked up by another two. Brings up fourth and six for the Bearcats. And about six for the Bearcats. Duncy back in punt formation. 
27 doing the putting for the Bearcats. Pheasants look like they're going coming for it. Nope. Back Off the side of his foot. Rolls out of bounds. About the Bearcat 43 yard line. Two feet remaining in the first. It's still Redfield 2. Webster 0. Off up the middle, he, he runs hard. Who is that, Whitley? No, it was a ball carrier. Tackle made by Clark. After a gain of about four, make it second six for the Pheasants. Whitley, another wrestler for the uh, Pheasants. Dad's sitting in front of me, so I'm gonna say he got all his talent from his mom. <laughs> mom shook her head. I might have made part of that. Nope. Uh, there's going to be a penalty. Uh, Redfield with a gain. Close to a first down, but it might be coming back. There is a flag on the play. Holding against the Pheasants. And ten yards from the spot of the foul brings up second and about eighteen twenty. Fifty seconds remaining in the first. Play resumes, it'll be second down and about 17 yards to go for the present. Not smoking rooms, and their steakhouse and bar are open. Get up, 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 and their slow-cooked prime rib is served on Friday and Saturday nights. Check them out on Facebook or call 605-345-9989 for reservations. Partnering with champions, RDO does that. Whether it's on the farm, the football field, or in the backyard, RDO prides itself on partnering with champions. For over 100 years, John Deere has been a champion of building the finest compact tractors available. Let RDO Equipment Company be your compact tractor sales and service champion. Plus, with 0% financing available, there's never been a better time to purchase your next compact tractor. Don't miss your chance to discover the RDO Equipment Company difference for yourself. Visit rdoequipment.com to find a dealer near you. A &W. And we're back. All right. Snap the bar. Whitley goes in, cuts outside. Stiff arms. Gains most of the yardage back. They're going to be short three or four. Looks like Whitley and Robin is going to be the, doing the majority of the running for the Pheasants. Brings up the third and about three. Ball setting right on the 35 yard line. Lar in the pistol, long setback. Heads off to Whitley, but good penetration. Andy Johnson comes in. Loss of about eight yards on the play, brings up fourth and eight for the Pelicans. Pistol. 
Back to pass. Deep. And good defense by Paraboom goes for the pickoff, unable to get it. Actually, well defended by the Redfield. And a turnover on downs. On the 38 yard line. Bearcats take over first and 10 on their own 38. 28 seconds remain in the first. cheeseburger because we invented it. You're welcome, world. 100% U.S. beef, crispy hickory smoked bacon, invented and perfected here. Not to mention, it's just better with made fresh A&W root beer. I don't know. At participating restaurants, prices may vary. Tax extra. At A&W, Winning isn't everything, it's how you play the game that counts. If your values tell you the same, let's start a new conversation with the money. At Thrive Financial, we believe money is a tool, not a tool. Because it's not just about making money, it's about doing it for your family, church, and community. Call Webster Thrive Financial today at 605-345-3635. So you can get back to feeling more like you. To make an appointment at Sanford Health and Webster, call 605 588 3186. Ready, Mike? Let's go. You want to go again? Life's an adventure filled with yeah, excitement, challenges, and achievement. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's reward. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve since 1948. Farmers Union Insurance is focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote corner section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance Insurance, insuring a better tomorrow. But the radio guy's on. You could pull up Pixelot and listen to the radio guy. And we're back. All right, second quarter. Uh, Pheasants lead 2-0. They've moved the ball well throughout the first quarter, but unable to push it across due to a couple turnovers. Bearcats start off second and about nine. Paramount with a screen pass. Boy. Redfield smells it out, and they're swarming to the ball. Pass is complete to number 44, Aldrich. Followed by Green Pie and Sean Dopke. Pheasants look like they spent some time in the weight room. It's a third 10 for the Bearcats. A lot of those wrestlers are probably going by. up a weight class. Bearcats lose that one yard, now third and 10. Keller back in the pistol. That's right, fakes in. Redfield just spied on him and cut the corner off. That'll be a loss. He brings up fourth and 12 for the Bearcats. On the 37-yard line. Duncy back in punt formation. War is deep for the Doing the punting for Webster. Low snap. Gets it off. Nice punt. End over end. Don't touch it. 
Ball is down by number 20 for the Bearcats. Herman. Good experience there. Good hustle. Got down on the punt. We'll be back. January is a great time to take a look at a brand new Buick from Dave Haler Automotive in Webster. We've got 0% interest for up to 72 months on the 2019 yep. Buick have... Enclave, Buick Envision, and the Buick Encore. We've got a great selection of these vehicles, so come take a look. Also, if you have a GM card, check your statement for extra earnings this month. Dave Haler Automotive, East Highway 12 in Webster, on the web, halerauto.com. The Galley Hotel Bar and Grill is on Highway 12 in Webster. Comfortable, not smoking rooms in the state. Look out. We're back. Redfield completes the first pass after the punt. It's Paul Juarez that gathers in a nice Juarez. run afterward. Bear runs some the arm tackles. Opitz brings him down. Went from ten. about uh, Webster 30 to the, the Redfield 41. Are back in the pistol. No snap. I'm not sure who's going to come up with that. I think the Bearcats have it, but we'll find out. We'll wait for the signal. The signal goes Bearcats way. Recovered by Torrance. Good turnovers for the Pheasants. Are just keeping the Bearcats in this game. Oh my God, Jackie Stepper. That vehicle needs to be moved immediately. Chevy Silverado pickup needs to be removed, needs to be moved immediately. And you've got Pear Boom back in the pistol. Pear Boom back to pass, got a little time. High floater, Pear Boom pulls it in, Bearcat first down. Well, not Pear Boom, that was Keller. Pass from and Redfield doesn't play. They had a vehicle move. They, they didn't even mess with the license plate. They said, Who owns it? You got to move it or it's going to be towed. By name, they called them out. I like that. Anyway, that might be one of the first first downs for the Bearcats. Okay. Pair boom in the pistol, but we had a whistle. Timeout called by Webster. Timeout by the Bearcats. 9.14 remains in the second, and we'll be back after a message from our sponsor. We're open seven days a week with the grill opening daily at 5 p.m. Daily specials and popular Wings Wednesdays with over 14 sauces with traditional bone-in or boneless wings. Thursdays feature Chislick special night and their slow-cooked prime rib is served on Friday and Saturday nights. Check them out on Facebook or call 605-345-9989 for reservations. On the farm, the football field, or in the backyard. RDO prides itself on being one of the champions. For over 100 years, John Deere has been a champion of building the finest compact tractors of all. Let RDO Equipment Company be your compact tractor sales and service champion. Plus, with 0% financing available, there's never been a better time to purchase your next compact tractor. Don't miss your chance to discover the RDO Equipment Company difference for yourself. Visit RDOEquipment.com to find a dealer near you. At A&W, it's called the original bacon double cheeseburger because we invented it. You're welcome, world. 100% U.S. beef, crispy hickory smoked bacon, invented and perfected here. Not to mention, it's just better with made fresh A&W root beer. And participating restaurants, prices may vary. Tax extra. At A&W, And we're back. We're back. Pear Boom's pass, complete across the middle. Who caught that? I guess I didn't see. Keller, tackle by Rawls, and Mason Whitley. Keller. 
Ross and Whitley on the tackle. Bearcats get in. Bearcats with trips right. Long setback. Pair of them in the shotgun. Long pass, there's space. And Keller takes it away from a redfield. We're down, I don't know where, inside the five, probably waiting for placement. Just about the one yard line. The D back was there, Keller just a little bigger and took it away from him. Bearcats looking to punch one in here. Paraboom under center. He sneaks it. Yeah, he's going to be short. Oh, he comes in. Late signal. Bearcats punch it in. Bearcats take a 6 2 lead. Air boom back to, for the extra point. The left, the left footed. And I'm not sure if it was muff, but it definitely blocked. And the kick is no good. Score with 8.05 to go in the second quarter. Webster 6, Redfield 5 to go. Two. Webster 6, Redfield 2. We'll be back. If our keyboard will work. That battery probably dying? Yeah. Take it, you can, when you get a time, take it out or just take the cover off and roll it. You know what I mean? Just roll the battery in the case. Possibly a battery dying. We just have to put some in the case for next time. And we're underway. Bearcats the first lead of the season. That's a live ball. Bearcats come up with it. Not sure that was planned. It looked to be a squib kick. It bounces off a Redfield player and Webster takes over. On the Redfield 46. Well, I don't have the official stats. That's probably about five turnovers for the Pheasants. Bearcats need to take advantage when they can because I don't think Redfield's going to turn it over five more times. Paraboom able to dodge that, but not the second one. Nice step aside, though, by Paraboom. Bearcats lose about 10. It's second and 20. And 
timeout, Bearcats. 7-13 in the second. Bearcats lead 6-2. We'll be back. Did it go that time? No, now it isn't working again. There you go. If your values tell you the same, let's start a new conversation about money. At Thriving Financial, we believe money is a tool, not a goal. Yeah, because it's, it's not just about making money, the, it's about doing more. The keyboard family, and partially, church, I'm on the. Community. I know it's. I Call Webster Thriving Financial before, today at 605 345 3633. Even simple tasks of everyday life can be overwhelming after an no, illness or an injury when you're facing lab, physical challenges. Physical therapy them. services at Sanford yeah. Health can provide the extra support you need. Our integrated team will help you regain your mobility and strength, getting you back to daily activities as safely as possible. We will focus on your recovery so you can get back to feeling more like you. So we can recommend you to my friend Webster, call 605-588-8866. Life's an adventure. And we're back. All right. 7-13 remains in the second. Mayor Katz, uh, long, long line to gain here, second and 20. We have a light to the east end of the field. A car, could your pickup, could you please turn your lights off? On the east end of the field, turn your lights off. Going to get some lights shut off on a car facing the field. I'm sure his windows are up. He's not going to hear us today. There we go. And they give him a nice round of applause. Now we got lights over in the other parking lot. <laughs> Keller under the pistol. Speed sweep right. Boy, 50. Wow, Keller. I don't know how they missed that tackle, but you know, the cut, cut back like that sometimes the blocks in the back and holding, so there is a flag. Schwartz had him dead to right. Keller spins out of it. Looks like a Bearcat might be down. Put that on the team. We'll go to ads. Yep. With excitement, challenges, and achievement, Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow. January is a great time to take a look at a brand new Buick from Dave Haler Automotive in Webster. We've got 0% interest for up to 72 months on the 2019 Buick Enclave, Buick Envision, and the Buick Encore. We've got a great selection of these vehicles, so come take a look. Also, if you have a GM card, check your statement for extra earnings this month. Dave Haler Automotive, East Highway 12 in Webster, on the web, halerauto.com. The Galley Hotel Bar and Grill is on Highway 12 in Webster. Comfortable, non-smoking rooms and their steakhouse and bar are open seven days a week with the grill opening daily at 5 p.m. Daily specials and popular Wings Wednesdays with over 14 sauces with traditional bone-in or boneless wings. Thursdays feature Chiswick Special Night and their slow-cooked prime rib is served on Friday and Saturday nights. Check them out on Facebook or call 605-345-9989 for reservations. Partnering with Jim. And we're back. Uh, that was uh, Jim Keller down, but he did walk off under his own power. Maybe looking a little woozy. What do you think, Chase? Yeah, a little bit. 15-yard oh. penalty. 15-yard penalty, personal foul against the Pheasants. That'll be instituted after the play. <coughs> Bearcats still short, no professional automatic first down in high school. 
Second down. Second and about two. One for the Bearcats. Ready for play sound. Bearcats over on the sideline. Ten seconds. Out trying to turn the corner. Good penetration there by, I can't get the number. He didn't get the tackle, but he, he made the play. Thelman actually really made that play. That's a good penetration, loss of six for the Bearcats. And six. Third and six to call. For the Bearcats. And they're on the 41 yard line. Little screen pass over there to Aldrich. Immediately covered by the linebackers. Almost no gain. Maybe a yard. Brings up fourth and five. Tackled by the Whitley brothers. And we're up fourth and about five for Webster. Five twenty-eight remains in the half. Pass in traffic, picked off by the Pheasants. Mason Fly picks it off. First turnover for the Bearcats. I think. Under five minutes in the half. On the 40 yard line. left, single setback, backwards pass, Robin runs into a host of Bearcats, Just a bit like a rug rugby scrum there at the end, but Redfield gains about eight. He's run by Opitz, and a host of other Bearcats. Opitz and Mount. After a gain of nine, make a second one for the Peasants. And Bearcats take a timeout. 4-16, playing Bearcats lead. 6-2, we'll be back. Does that. Whether it's on the Garrett. farm, the football field, or in the backyard, RDO prides itself on partnering Garrett. with champions. For over 100 years, Just John Deere has been a champion a building bit. the finest like compact play, tractors available. That way Let you RDO get, like, Equipment Company be your compact so tractor sales so and like service champion. Right Plus, with 0% financing available, there's never been a better time a to purchase more. your next compact tractor. Don't miss your chance to discover the RDO Equipment Company difference for yourself. Visit RDOEquipment.com to find a dealer near you. <laughs> At a and it's called the original bacon double cheeseburger because we invented it. You're welcome, world. 100% U.S. beef, crispy hickory smoked bacon, invented and perfected here. Not to mention, it's just better with made fresh a and root beer. Participating restaurants, prices may vary. Tax extra. At A and W. And we're back. All right. Redfield second and about two, one and a half. 
under set monk. Looked like maybe a miss handoff there. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. He stepped the hand that in the back wasn't there, so miscommunication in the backfield for Redfield. No gain on the play. Brings up the third and two. That'll bring up fourth and about four. Maybe five, almost five. It'll bring up fourth down for the fourth and a long four. And Redfield's going. Are in the pistol. Back to pass. That's Robbins in transition coming across. Gets the touchdown. Bearcats in a place to seal the first half. Unable to capitalize and Redfield scores on close to a 50 plus yard touchdown. Makes it 8 6 Pheasants. See if they kick or go for two. Is it even? Going for two, Millar in the pistol, low snap. Pitches to Whitley, Whitley cuts between two Bearcats. And no good. It's 8-6 Pheasants, 239 to go in the first. We had gone, Chase. Yeah. It's how you play the game that counts. If your values tell you the same, let's start a new conversation about money. At Thrive and Financial, we believe money oh, yeah, is a tool, not a They're actually adjusting the scoreboard. Because it's not just about making money, it's about, I didn't about doing it. I wasn't watching the game right there. Family, church, the and community. Call Webster Where? Thrive and Financial today at 605-345-3635. Even simple tasks. I just, the fact that we're this yep. close in this game is a moral victory. We're back. All right, we're back. 239 remains. Cats trail, 8 6. Cats in uh, kick received. And it's uh, 3, and who's on the other side? 4. So Keller not back there in his normal position. Keller and open. Well, then it's uh, Jacob Keller deep, though, not Jake. And uh, Feldman able to uh, get through the wall. Speedy little guy. Uh, tackles the Bearcats deep. Flag on the play. I don't see where, oh, there's the flag. Wait, waiting for the signal. Inadvertent flag, and waved it off. The flag has been picked up, there's no flag, so the Bearcats will take it over. First and 10 on a 23 yard line. Had some nice walls, but uh, 11 just 
Holland downfield able to get behind that and completely busted up that play. Bearcats first and 10 about their own 24 yard line. 233 remains in the half. Keller in the pistol, or Paraboom in the pistol. Pass over to, is that Mount? Pass is complete to Opitz. Opitz. Receiver right in his face, he's across the middle, he took a shot. Bearcats gave him three. Physicality of the pheasants kind of showing up a little bit on some of these plays. <laughs> Trips right for the Bearcats. Back to pass. Throws it deep. He's got a step. Just beyond him. That's the incomplete intended for Keller. Coverage downfield by Mason Whitley. And Trey Robbins for the Pheasants. Brings up third down. Third and about seven. Brings up third and seven for the Bearcats. 147 remaining. Nice pass. Out on the flat, just a little high. Redfield unable to come up with a turnover and that 11 was close. That's Ed Feldman. He's not very big at all. 5'9", 130, but he can fly. Brings up fourth and long for the Bearcats, 142. I think I'd maybe do a hard count here. Back to Possibly we delay. Have the Did I see didn't have it? I don't know. Illegal substitution on the Bearcats. Illegal substitution called against the Bearcats. That'll back it up five yards. Move it back five. They get fourth and about 12. Fourth and 12 for the Bearcats. 142 remains in the half. Oh! And we get the punt off. Takes a Bearcat roll. Out about the Bearcat 38 yard line. Now move puts it out to about the 38-yard line. As the Pheasants will take it over, first and 10. First and 10 for the Pheasants, 134 remains in the half. Could have been a disaster there for the Bearcats. Paraboom able to track the ball down and get a pretty decent punt off under tremendous pressure. Anyway, we'll see if the Bearcat defense can hold them out for a minute and 34 seconds. Oh, there we go. There. Bearcats might decline this penalty. Well, okay, Gary, there we go. Call that illegal shift. With the loss of down and the loss of yards, Bearcats probably will decline it. 128 remains. I think the Bearcats are just making sure of what the options are if they decline or accept. Eagle 
and Bearcats decline because instead of first and 15, now it'll be second and maybe 14. Good decision by the Bearcats right there. Second and 16, 126 main clock is on. Lar back to a little pressure. Gets a long pass off. Pulled down deep, it'll be a first down. Came back for the ball. That's Juarez. That one hurts. It'll be a first down for the Cousins. First down about the 24 yard line of the Bearcats. Clock is running, Redfield hustles to the line. Millar back to pass, looking deep. And he tiptoes down the sideline, late, late signal by the referee, by the side judge here, headlines, and then touchdown, Pheasants. Linesman actually broke down to watch that tiptoeing. That's a nice job by that receiver if he stayed in bounds. Anyway, Redfield's going for two. Just a speed rush here to the left side. He gets in. Makes it 16 6. 52 seconds to go. Are we back? Yeah. All right, we're back. 52 seconds remain, 16 6, Pheasants in the lead. Boy, Jason, what a difference just like two minutes makes in this football game. It was a, just a two point game not very long ago. Now, Bearcats trail by 10. Uh, they're in uh, Kip Receive right now. I think Big Keller's back there. They kick it short, bounces in front. Mount picks that up. On down the return. Third away by Rolf. Rolf brings him down immediately. There's not and much the gaining after the contact for Bearcats. On a 25-yard line. 34 <laughs> seconds remain in the half. See what the Bearcats do here. Now it's back to 40. I'm not sure. Well, they must have kept it running maybe a little bit after the attack. Didn't have to correct it. Caribou back in the pistol. Hand off to Aldrich. Redfield calls it all the time. We'll be back. Life can be 
Will be in a play or three or three or three down. When you're facing physical and therapy, and so physical the therapy services at Sanford Health can provide the Again, extra support you need. This integrated team will help you regain your mobility and strength, getting you back to daily activities as safely as possible. We will focus on your health so you can get back to the community. Clean, so so to help the women at Sanford Health and Webster, call 605-588-3006. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievement. Farmers Union. And we're back. All right, Redfield with a quick time out there that will stop the clock. Trying to take advantage of uh, the Bearcats caught deep in their own territory. The time expiring is second and about 13 for the Bearcats. One, I don't know how much time is left, 30 seconds ish. We'll look when the timeout clock is done here. Thirty-two seconds remaining. Pair of them in the pistol. Hands off to Aldrich again. Going nowhere. Redfield getting some good penetration on that. Another timeout for the Pheasants. Third and maybe six field over 18. Congratulations on your 40th class reunion, the class of 
I'm Carson Hamill. I'm Andrew Odd. On behalf of Mason Knox Ram. From everyone here at Odd and Charlay. And on behalf of the Scattered Star Rams. From our family to yours. From the Phillip community, I just want to say thank you. We thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank you, the consumers. We thank you for choosing beef. Thank, thank you, you for choosing, choosing beef. beef. Thank you, the consumers. We thank you for choosing beef. Thank, thank you, you for choosing beef.
Carson Hale. I'm Andrew Odd. I'm Mason Knox Rand. I'm everyone here at Odd and Charlotte. And on behalf of the Scattered Star Ranch, from our family to yours. From the Philip community, I just want to say thank you. We thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank you for consuming. We thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing me. And now they're they're going to get it because they're taking them all. I'm Carson Hamill. I'm Andrew Ott. On behalf of Mason Knox Ranch. From everyone here at Ott and Charlay. And on behalf of the Scattered Star Ranch. From our family to yours. From the Philip community, I just want to say thank you. We thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank you, the consumers. We thank you for choosing beef. Thank, thank you for choosing beef. I'm Carson Hamill. I'm Andrew Ott. On behalf of Mason Knox Ranch. From everyone here at Ott and Charlay. And on behalf of the Scattered Star Ranch. From our family to yours. From the Philip community, I just want to say thank you. We thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank you, the consumers. We thank you for choosing beef. Thank you for choosing beef. Go to their house. We'd like to thank Ron Rand, the PA up here at the uh, Community Memorial Hospital. We're going to 
I'm Tegan Mason. I'm Carson Brown. I'm Andrew. On behalf of Mason Knox Ranch. From everyone here at Odd and Charlay. And on behalf of the Scattered Star Ranch. From our family to yours. From the Philip community, I just want to say thank you. We thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank you, the consumers. We thank you for choosing beef. Thank you for choosing beef. <laughs> you deserve since 1948. Farmers Union Insurance is focused on insuring the people of South Dakota from the most remote corner section to the busiest intersection. Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow. January is a great time to take a look at a brand new Buick from Dave Haler Automotive in Webster. We've got 0% interest for up to 72 months on the 2019 Buick Enclave, Buick Envision, and the Buick Encore. We've got a great selection of these vehicles, so come take a look. Also, if you have a GM card, check your statement for extra earnings this month. Dave Haler Automotive, East Highway 12 in Webster, on the web, halerauto.com. The Galley Hotel Bar and Grill is on Highway 12 in Webster. Comfortable, non-smoking rooms and their steakhouse and bar are open seven days a week with the grill opening daily at 5 p.m. Daily specials and popular Wings Wednesdays with over 14 sauces with traditional bone-in or boneless wings. Thursdays feature Chislick special night and their slow-cooked prime rib is served on Friday and Saturday nights. Check them out on Facebook or call 605-345-9989 for reservations. Partnering with champions, RDO does that. Whether it's on the farm, the football field, or in the backyard, RDO prides itself on partnering with champions. For over 100 years, John Deere has been a champion of building the finest Mike, compact tractors available. Let RDO Equipment Company be your be compact another tractor years. sales and service champion. Okay. Plus, with 0% financing available, there's never been a better time to purchase your next compact tractor. Don't miss your chance to discover the RDO Equipment Company difference for yourself. Visit RDOEquipment.com to find a dealer near you. At A&W, it's called the original bacon double cheeseburger because we invented it. You're welcome, world. 100% U.S. beef, crispy hickory smoked bacon, invented and perfected here. Not to mention, it's just better with made fresh A&W root beer. Over there and, and participating restaurants, prices will find out tax extra. At A&W, yeah. winning is over there. It's how you play the game. Ella says, I have Your values tell you to see. Do they have, them, have one of them do what's called a speed check on their phone? Is it not a good one. Because it's not just Yeah, it needs to be a smartphone. Does it need a hotspot? Church. Should you? Yeah, it does. Call Webster Drive Financial today at 605 what do you mean? It doesn't need a hotspot. Yeah, otherwise it won't be checking data. Even simple tasks. I'm never doing that. If it's, it's, if it's not a hotspot, it will hot check, hot it'll check the ability. Yours isn't a hotspot. But when you do it, what does it tell you? Have you done a speed test on your phone? I have ability and strength getting you back to daily activities as safely as possible. We will focus on your recovery so you can get back to feeling more like you. To make an appointment at 
think of somebody over there and see if they'll do a speed test. Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievement. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve since 1948. Farmers Union Insurance is focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote intersection to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a better time. January is a great time to take a look at Dan brand William? new Buick from Dave Haler Automotive in West. We've got 0% interest for up to 72 months on the 2019 Buick Enclave, Buick Envision, and the Buick Encore. We've got a great selection of these vehicles, so come take a look. Also, if you have a GM card, check your statement for extra Nine earnings this month. Mike. Dave Haler Automotive. East Highway 12 and Webster on the web, halerauto.com. And we're back. Yeah. All right, we're live. Second half. Bearcats trail 16 6. They'll receive the ball. Kind of a late flurry there for Redfield. They put some serious points on the board. Last two minutes to see if the Bearcats can respond here in the second half. Kick deep. Keller finds a little gap. Pushes up. Bearcats will have the ball. Get some bodies out of the way so I can see the yard line. Looks like about the 32, 31. Flag on the play. Looks to be about where a hold might be. King Ivan comes out, makes the first play of the second half. Congratulations, Ivan. Hold on the Bearcats. That'll bring them back 10 yards. And the Bearcats will take it over first and 10 on the 16 yard line. First and 10 from the Bearcats, 16. Boom back in the pistol. High snap. Boy. That was a snap and a handoff, and he got tackled as soon as he handed off. I mean, he didn't get a step. Fumble call. Bearcat fall on it. Loses two, brings up second and 12. up third and about 12. Ball carried by Opens, gain of about two. Tackled by Fly and Juarez. It'll be third and about 11 for the Bearcats. Fire boom in the pistol, mount beside him. Trips right. Long pass. He's got a step. Oh. Standing out of Robin's hands. Pass is incomplete intended for Keller. Brings up Robin fourth and 11, fourth and 12. Bearcats will have a quick point. Fourth and 11. Ball is on the 15-yard line. Rolling. 
Hastings snap. Bearcats get it off. Takes a Bearcat bounce. Oh, he touched it. The Bearcats get it. It's a, it's a scrum down there. We'll see who comes up with it. Bearcats football. Another turnover for the Vegas. Bearcats first and 10 in their own 49. 10-10 to go in the third. Defender just able to break that up. After the 10, rope is covered by Mason Whitley. Presence do have a, a little down. speed, at least compared to the Bearcats and some of those D backs, it looks to me. Brings up second and 10. Bearcat receivers are open for a minute, but uh, able to close down trips left, Paraboom in the shotgun. to the right side, immediately tackled by the that defenses. Beerman, uh, good hands. <laughs> Got to get him the ball in some open space here, third and about 12. They're catching the huddle for a long time here. Incomplete brings up about fourth and 12. But in the field 20. position game, the Bearcats right. picked up about Before maybe 12, 40 yards on that punt miscue, so we should be able to keep Pitt Redfield at least back in their side of the field. Maybe be a fake punt, but here cuts be able to do anything with it. Not a bad shot. First and ten on what? Their 30 yard line. So they gave away a lot of the yardage they gave back, but why not try it? Cats with or, uh, pheasants with twins right and left. The whistle at the snap. A play and a play. That's usually a formation or a shift thing. Could have been defense in the neutral zone. Yeah, approaching. That'll go against the defense. I've been, really been a fairly penalty-free game. Uh, several, but not a lot. And off to Whitley, goes inside, cuts it out. He's got good acceleration. Gain of a, more than 10. Way on the far side, I didn't see who made the tackle. And it's first and goal for the Pheasants. Looks to be almost the same play. Whitley cuts it up instead of going outside. It's about the four yard line. Ball is now on 
the four-yard line. Be second about one for the Devils. Oh, they did bring the chains down, so it wasn't goal. Bearcats got some penetration. Looked to be a little miscommunication in the backfield. He's a quarterback with the back turned. Right the ball carrier for the Peasants. Bearcats able to take advantage and tackle him for a short loss. Brings up third about four. Long three. Third and about two and a half yards. Two and a half to call from Bob Tiff. We'll go with his. Start call against the Pheasants, that'll be a five-yard penalty. We will make a third and about eight. False start call against the Pheasants, third and eight. Showing they think they caught it, and that's the signal from the ref. Turnover by the Pheasants. Well, Looked like it was a tip, maybe, too. Jacob Keller picks it off. Bearcats will be first and ten, but where at? Were they in the end zone? Two yard line. Bearcats will take over, first and ten. Bearcats come out, trips right. If he runs out, that's a penalty on the Bearcats. See if they call it. Deep pass. Picked off. Play going to play. Fairmoon's pass was intercepted by Robbins. Intercepted by Robbins, but the flag on the play possibly is going to be that breaking the huddle with 12 men. Um, Pheasants had obviously declined that. No, a holding Pheasants. Holding called against the Pheasants. Be a 10 yard penalty. From the line of scrimmage, what's your will keep the ball? Oh, we started marking it down. And it'll be a first down. They'll get a new set of downs on that one. So he lets his ball up. Bearcats get a break on that ten. one. Dodge the break in the huddle with 12, and the interception wiped out by a holding call. Bearcats first and 10. Maybe about the 10. You know, and I had to say kind of a penalty-free game, and then the last three plays there's been a penalty, so I'll take that one. False start, Bearcats. procedure, that'll move it back five yards. It'll make it first down and 15 yards to go. Boom in the pistol. Back to pass. Quick shot over, broken up. Pass incomplete to uh, Ethan Open. It's knocked down by Paul Juarez. Juarez makes it down. bring up second down and 15 for the Bearcats. Again, Redfield with some speedy D-backs compared to our backs at least. Most of ours are pretty young. And pass across the middle, in and out of the hands. Opens. It'll bring up third and about 14, 15. 
Back to pass across the middle. Finds Keller streaking across for a short game. Brings up fourth and maybe 10, uh, about 11 or 12. Gave him a little breathing room at the end zone at least. Fourth down situation for the Bearcats. Back game for the Feathers is Paul Ruiz. Or is fairly deep on this one right now. That's the butter. Dunsey back to punt. Redfield goes for the block, doesn't get it. Short punt, takes a little Bearcat roll. And Bearcat stand above it. Torrance picks it up. Be about the 33 yard line, 32 yard line. Bearcats 33 yard line. And fumble again. I think the Bearcats might have come up with that. Oh my goodness, we did. Recovered by Webster, they will take it over now. First and 10 on the 35 yard line. Pheasants struggling to hang on to the ball has kind of kept the Bearcats at least in decent reach in this game. Haven't proved that we can put together many drives, but we did drive down and punch one across, so. Yeah, no, that, I think that's how it's spelled. Air boom in the, in the pistol. Motion across, snap over his head. <laughs> of about 18 brings up second and a whole lot of field. I'm not even sure if that's 18, it could be 20. Anyway, it's a bunch. Pass over to the right on the flat. Immediately brought down by little 11. Nice little help him up, pat him on the back. Fouling on the tackle for the Bevins. He's fast. And he, he comes up, covered. Right here? Got that from Mama. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to put that on the air, though, that Mama. <laughs> Third and a bunch. Bearcats seeing what they can do. Oh, and the good no call. For Brings up fourth in a bunch. Miller Little for the Bearcats. It'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and about 29 yards. Almost on the 16 yard line. 4.59 remains in the third. High punt, good rush. Oh, takes a pheasant bounce. Down by Mount. We're really close to the 35 yard line, I'd say. Ball is down by Mount of Webster. It'll bring up first and 10 for the pheasants. 
on the 35 yard line. Thank you. And pheasants go to no huddle here. Bring the play in from the sidelines. 450 remains in the third. Redfield in the pistol, back to pass. Nice job coming back for that ball by the receiver. I don't know who it was. Rolfs. Tackled by Duncey. Duncey with good coverage. He was a cross country runner up until this year. He had pretty decent coverage on that. Redfield again with a no hump. Back to pass. Just out of the fingertips of the stretched out receiver. That'll bring up second and ten. That's an incomplete intended for all. It'll bring up second down for the peasants. And handoff, got a little block there, a legal block, nice hook block by Redfield. And they, I think they ran out, I'm not seeing a signal for a touchdown. Oh, yep, oh, there it is. Redfield going for two. Redfield backs doing a good job of kind of coming up field, getting our uh, backers to commit up. And then they cut out and we can't stay with them. Pitch to the far side, quarterback, or a halfback pass, incomplete. Option pass by Juarez, incomplete. Looks at 22 6. 27 remaining. We'll be back. Play 12 at Webster. Comfortable, non smoking rooms. And their steakhouse and bar are open seven days a week with the grill opening daily at 5 p.m. Daily specials and popular wings Wednesdays with over 14 sauces with traditional bone in or boneless wings. Thursdays feature Chislet special night and their slow cooked prime rib is served on Friday and Saturday nights. Check them out on Facebook or call 605 345 9989 for reservations. Partnering with champions, RDO does that. Whether it's on the farm, the football field, or in the backyard, RDO prides itself on partnering with champions. For over 100 years, John Deere has been a champion of building the finest compact tractors available. Let RDO Equipment Company be your compact tractor sales and service champion. Plus, with 0% financing available, there's never been a better time to purchase your next compact tractor. Don't miss your chance to discover the RDO Equipment Company yep. difference for yourself. Visit rdoequipment.com to find a deal in you. All right, we're back. yeah, we're back. Third quarter, 427 remain. Bearcats trail, 22-6. Uh, big factor in this game is, uh, I would say, seven or eight turnovers for the Pheasants, but still able to do a 22-6 lead. Bearcats got to find some more on offense to keep the defense off the field. That was Jaden Keller looking to find some running room. Keller Did you see him? Right? That will be by Mason Whitley. Whitley with the tackle. And Shabble. Good effort here by 55 as he hustles out and hits the team. On the 32 yard line. 32 yard line, Bearcats first and 10. It'd be nice to at least move the ball into Redfield territory here. In the pistol, a little tighter formation here. Fumble the snap. Mount immediately covered up. Mount ball carrier. 
Redfield getting some solid penetration on that play. Back of my card, and Thompson. Walks with a six. Snap low again. Pass almost picked off, but I think it's incomplete. No. Pass is complete. Keller with a nice grab off. Just got it to his shoe tips. Brings up third about 14. Shoe laces, I should say, fingertips. But not much of a game. It looks like third and about 13. Why is it? Air boom in the pistol. Back has a little time, holding the call. And out of bounds, the call. We do have a flag on the play. Flag in the backfield. Wait for the preliminary signal. Holding on the Bearcats, that could be declined. Holding on the Bearcats. And it is declined, that'll bring up a fourth and about 13. Bearcats obviously in punt formation. Keller hoping to get the call on that one. He, he was out as they were jumbling each other back and forth. Let's see. Back to punt for the Bearcats. And gets it off. Oh, took a hop right to him. Under speed. She got a lane. Big hit by somebody. Jaden Keller with a big hit there. But 25 yard return sets up Redfield first and 10 from about the Webster 40. 238 remain. There is as Robbins tries to spin out of the tackle, but Keller hangs on. Penalty flag. And penalty flags. We have whistles at the snap. That all encroachment against the Bearcats. The five yards bring up. Second to three. three. And handoff up the middle. Ball carried by Robin. Tackled by Bortson. Tyler Bortson in on a tackle. Another young man that's ran cross country for four years and came out for football late. Makes it third down for Red Hill. Back to pass. And I think Opitz come, no, oh, referee waving it off. Maybe the Bearcats tried to sell that one, why not? Brings up fourth and a real short one for the Pheasants. Fourth and about half a yard for the Pheasants. Without a kicking game, they're probably going to go for this. It's 
going to be close. I think he's short. Bearcat's got a little penetration there. Looks like Torrance got some penetration. And first and ten for the Bearcats. Ball is carried by Miller. He lost about a half a yard. It'll bring up first and ten for the Bearcats on the 31 yard line. One twenty-six remain in the third. Bearcats with trips right. Pair of them in the pistol. I think we have a timeout. Timeout, Redfield. We'll be back after a message from our It's called the original bacon double cheeseburger because we invented it. You're welcome, world. 100% U.S. beef. Crispy hickory smoked bacon. Invented and perfected here. Not to mention, it's just better with made fresh A&W root beer. At participating restaurants, prices may vary. Tax extra. At A&W, winning and it's how you play the game that counts. If your values tell you the same, let's start a new conversation about money. At Thriving Financial, we believe money is a tool, not a goal. Because it's not just about making money, it's about doing it. For your family, church, and community. Call Webster Thriving Financial today at 605-345-3635. And we're back. All right. That's the end of the timeout. Bearcats are tricked right. First and ten here. Quick pass to the right. Redfield just really keying on Keller. There was two or three kids right there not even watching the play. They're just watching Keller. Bearcats with trips right. Pair of them in the pistol. Under a minute to go in the third. Clock is running. Snap was low. Same play. Starting Big hit by Juarez. Loss for the Bearcats. Brings up third in about 13. <laughs> <laughs> and cats have twins right and left. Pair of the pistol, lone setback. And we're going backwards again. The cats try the hard count to draw them off, and the wrong team jumps. That's the inexperience that's going to happen at the growing year for the boys. Brings up third and 18. And that ends the third quarter. 22 to 6. Pheasants will be back after a message from our sponsors. Facing physical challenges, physical therapy services at Sanford Health can provide the extra support you need. Our integrated team will help you regain your mobility and strength, getting you back to daily activities as safely as possible. We will focus on your recovery so you can get back to feeling more like you. To make an appointment at Sanford Health, you must call 605-588-3186. Life
race and adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievement. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance is focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a brighter tomorrow. January is a great time to take a look at a brand new Buick from Dave Hale Automotive. We've got 0% interest for up to 72 months on the 2019 Buick Enclave, Buick Envision, and the Buick Encore. We've got a great selection of these vehicles, so come take a look. Also, if you have a GM card, check your statement for extra earnings this month. Dave Hale Automotive, East Highway 12 on the web at HaleAuto.com. And we're back. All right, start of the fourth quarter, 22-6. Bearcats have been ball hawks. Every time the Pheasants have put it down, we've at least had a chance to recover it. And on the positive side, eight or nine, but just unable to move the ball and stop the big play. But it's nice to see them looking for that ball when it's on the ground. Twins right and left, pair boom in the pistol. Back to pass, has a little time. And in and out of the red field hands. Brings up fourth and long. Fourth and 18 on the 23 yard line. Dunsey back to punt. Snap, end over end punt, hits the ground, goes Redfield way. Oh, he tucked. And it'll be about the 39 yard line, but Mr. Juarez is gonna give the coach a heart attack here yet. Oh, they moved it up to the 40. 11.46 remain in the fourth. Redfield with no huddle. Legs in Northeast corner, turn off your legs, please. Over to Northeast corner. Thank you. Got some headlights fixed in the Northeast corner and we're ready to play. Redfield in the pistol. Hand off to Robbins. Maybe game three or four. Oh, they spotted back. And Redfield again going to the wristbands. No huddle. In the pistol. Trips left. Rolling right. And we'll see if the call's interference or holding. Pass interference to call. Pretty decent coverage there, just made the mistake of grabbing a hold of him. Fifteen-yard penalty. Fifteen-yard penalty. Give Redfield the first down. Eleven, eleven. First and ten on about the forty-four-yard line. I'm so glad. Redfield with the pistol. Trips right and left. Motion away. Pass to the back. In and out of the hands of Robbins. Robbins incomplete. Bring up second down for the Pheasants. Brings up second and ten for the Pheasants. Pheasants 
Adams in the pistol. Back to pass. Big hit there by Torrance. Quarterback kind of shook him up a little bit. Pass complete. Um, he's down inside the five, maybe the one or two. But quarterback still limping on a big hit by Torrance. Gain of about 42 on that pass play. Gain of 40 plus according to the PA. Run up the middle, stopped by the Bearcats. Somebody got some penetration. Robin's ball carrier, he stopped short. Keller on a tackle. Keller on a blitz. Second goal for the He had some help, too. Redfield just going straight ahead. And touchdown, Nicole. Braden Robbins up the middle. And quarterback comes off. He's still limping. Just misses. It's homecoming in Redfield. That was, uh, I believe, the homecoming king was right that at the point. 28 6, Redfield will be back after a message from our sponsor. The Galley Hotel Bar and Grill is on Highway 12 in Webster. Comfortable non smoking rooms and their steakhouse and bar are open seven days a week with the grill opening daily at 5 p.m. Daily specials and popular Wings Wednesdays with over 14 sauces with traditional bone in or boneless wings. Thursdays feature Chiswick Special Night and their slow cooked prime rib is served on Friday and Saturday nights. Check them out on Facebook or call 605 345 9989 for reservations. Partnering with champions, RDO does that. Whether it's on the farm, the football field, or in the backyard, RDO prides itself on partnering with champions. For over 100 years, John Deere has been a champion of building the finest compact tractors available. Let RDO Equipment Company be your compact tractor sales and service champion. Plus, with 0% financing available, there's never been a better time to purchase your next compact tractor. Don't miss your chance to discover the RDO Equipment Company difference for yourself. Visit RDOEquipment.com before the new year. At A&W, it's called the original bacon double cheeseburger because we invented it. You're welcome, world. 100% U.S. There we go. We're back. 28-6. Redfield set to kick. Kick is deep. Bearcats just play the hop, but pick it up. A little indiscriminate. They're just they're fast enough to get down there before that wall can set up that the Bearcats have done a good job so far on. So we're deep again, maybe the 15. And the Bearcats will take it over first and 10. <laughs> and pair boom in the pistol. Twins each side. Motion. Hand off, he cuts it up. Like no gain. Tackle by Rolls and Connor Apple. He 
He had long one on the play, make a second nine for Webster. He did give us a yard on that one, second and nine. Those are wearing all black. They say twins right and left were on the short side, so there's not a lot of room. Paraboom back, rolls left, broken up. Jaden Keller. Jacob, not Jaden, sorry. And third down for the Bearcats, third and nine on the 16 yard line. Left here for the Bearcats. Motion right. And the late game. The play. I was insane. The delay of game against the Bearcats. That will be a fire. In the seventh grade game, Diego was carrying you guys. Oh, I was talking about that. You were not. I didn't even play. You did. That was like one game. Just about to get it ready. Second and 14 for the Bearcats. Just under nine minutes remain in the fourth. Motion away. Then a nice completion on the pump fake by Paraboo. I was running and I was running. pulls it in. That's complete. Congratulations for Paraboo. Tackle by Ross. Beerman kind of becoming a little possession receiver right there. He's got good hands, yeah, well, catches it in traffic. I'm not sure what we have here. A little officials conference or something. Oh, yeah. Brings up. Don't worry, I said, I don't Brings up fourth and about three or four. Lights. That's not why the officials had a conference. But. Almost looks like the referees were just verifying it was fourth down. Not sure on that one. But. Bearcats going. Pass incomplete. Bearcats will throw right now. 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 Keller checks out for Webster. Jacob. Jaden, the older Keller. Sorry. Good hold is 
good. Kick is just left. 750 remains, 34 Redfield for Webster. We'll be back after a message from our sponsor. It's the hickory smoked bacon, invented and perfected here. Not to mention, it's just better with made fresh a and root beer. Participating restaurants, prices may vary. Tax extra. At a and w Winning isn't everything. It's how you play the game. If your values tell you the same, let's start a new conversation about money. At Garden Financial, we believe money is a tool, not a goal. Because it's not just about making money, it's about doing it. For your family, church, and community. Call Webster Private Financial today at 605-345-3635. All right, we're back. Fourth quarter, 7.50 remains. Redfield set to kick off. 34-6, Pheasants in the lead. You, you look at the turnovers, Chase, you wouldn't think the Pheasants are ahead, but Bearcats have been unable to capitalize on any of them. Did get six across, so we got to look for the bright spots. Beerman and Mount Deep set to receive. Not sure this is the same kickoff crew for the Pheasants. Kick deep. Gets a step, knocks over his own man. And Bearcats first and 10, about their own 40. I'm seeing quite a few different numbers out here, but we'll have to see. Paraboon in the pistol. Twins right and left, motion away with Beerman. And off to Mount. Maybe game three. Two and a half. Ah, three. All the ball here, tackled by Rawls. Eight of all three on the play, make it second and seven. For the Look at the Bearcat roster, it's hard to find a, a, a sub because all the youngsters are in the game. Snap is low, Bearcat's unable to cover it. Bring up probably third and 11. Loss of about four, make it third and 11 for Webster. 6.39 remaining in the fourth. Bearcats in the huddle for a long time. Still in the huddle. This looks to be problematic. 10 seconds. Five, four. Just get, and we got a penalty by the Referee, that won't be delay. Oh, Webster called a timeout. There. We'll be back. He might wave that off. Yeah. Penalty flag waved off. Bearcat coaching staff probably watching that back. We're 
we're gone, aren't we? Even simple tasks of everyday life can be overwhelming after an illness or injury. When you're facing physical challenges, physical therapy services at Sanford Health can provide you extra support you need. Our integrated team will help you regain your mobility and strength, getting you back to daily activities as safely as possible. We will focus on your recovery so you can get back to feeling more like you. To make an appointment at Life's an adventure filled with excitement, challenges, and achievement. Farmers Union Insurance can provide you the safety net to keep you moving toward your goals and enjoying life's rewards. With multiple locations across the state, Farmers Union Insurance agents provide quick quotes and professional services you deserve. Since 1948, Farmers Union Insurance has focused on insuring the people of South Dakota. From the most remote quarter section to the busiest intersection, Farmers Union Insurance, insuring a better tomorrow. Tomorrow. January. And we're back. All right, 613 remain in the fourth. Third and 11 for the Bearcats. In from the sideline, right to the line of scrimmage. Paraboom in the pistol, motion away. Fake pass, throws it up. Picked off by the Pheasants. Roughing the quarterback. So Probably cool. one of the two calls they see back 61. there. Like the smallest guy on our team, but like still like the biggest guy. <laughs> After the interception. After the interception. Personal foul, personal foul on the team. So that'll back him up 15 yards. And it will be first and 10. When you get a play that turns like that, it could be one of them defenseless uh, opponent type things. I don't know. He just sent the person to follow. Earthy's corner, get out of your headlights, please. Headlights are on over to Northeast Corner, please turn your headlights off. Oh. 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 Take a look at a brand new Buick from Dave Haler Automotive in Webster. We've got 0% interest for up to 72 months on the 2000. And snap, Redfield rolling right, passing. Just out of bounds. Oh, he gets him the catch. And I didn't point it out, but both teams have substituted, letting the 
underclassmen take shots at each other here. Hand off for uh, Cousins. 34 with a run runs well. Keeps his feet moving. Forward lead here. That's Keaton Rolfs. It's been a penalty. Only against the Fences. will bring the ball back. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Make it second and about 18. <laughs> A little bit of a long game, running two and a half hours. Both teams pass quite a bit. Turnovers slow it down as well. And handoff up the middle. He's just dragging a bear cat right there. Tackle by Herman. He and eight on the play. They get second and ten for the Peasants. Just under four minutes in the fourth. <laughs> and hand off again, starts inside, cuts out. Pretty good collision right there. Tommy for Gelt in for a hit, maybe Keller there too, but pretty good collision over there, brings up third and about six. Out of bounds, stops the clock. Back to pass. Deep. Oh, and Bearcat just gets a hand on it. Who was that? Uh, Pass is incomplete. Cameron Schmidt. That'll bring up fourth and six for the Peasants. Yeah, that was that Jaden. Yeah, Jade McCreary gets a hand on that one, goes up high. Brings up fourth and six. Redfield going for it. Back to pass, little pressure. Ball's going on. And they complete the pass, break the tackle, get the first down. Pass is complete from McGillivray to Rolf. Well, first down, Peasants. They're making first and ten on the 15 yard line. First and ten, let's do Under three minutes remain in the game. I feel a little deeper, not quite the shotgun, but a deep pistol, hand off in the middle. Bearcats stop it. It'll be a loss on the play and some penetration. Well, okay, by having some time, no gain on the play. Chris Gakowski, maybe Tommy Regula. Back in on that. Second down for the Peasants. Next break, Chase, do you want to go through uh, future games? Yep. And we'll see if a lineman jumped inside. Bearcats definitely went. Referee's talking it over. And 
road. On the side against the Bearcat. The five yard penalty. Make it second and five now for the Pheasants. Second and five for the Pheasants. Just them out to the two minute warning, but the only warning is for you because they don't have a two minute warning. In this Tackle by Mount. Mount with the tackle. Game of all one. Make it third and five now for the Pheasants. Third and five for the Pheasants. One twenty-two remaining. Clock is running. Kind of a slow play here. Let's see how close the Pheasants come to... Uh, Getting up against the shot clock, shall we speak? And back to pass. Little penetration. Everybody evacuated the side. Keller runs him down from behind. Okay, so tomorrow we have cross country in Huron. On Monday there is a boys middle school and JV football game back here in Redfield. And on Thursday we have volleyball at Ron Colley. I think that game might be at home. Or is there volleyball at home on Monday? Nope, on Monday the football, oh yeah, football is at home. And on Thursday there's volleyball at Ron Colley. Twins right, twins left for the Pheasants. Back to pass. Bearcats acting like they picked it off. And with 16 seconds remaining, the turnover will uh, stop the ball. Bearcats more than likely just going to run it or take it in here. I ride by Kobe a Shout out to the Redfield fans. We're set up on their side. They were good hosts. So much blue, I thought I was at a South Dakota State game. <laughs> but that will end the game. 34-6. Presence. Uh, Chase covered next week. Thank you to the sponsors. We got a